Hey guys, welcome back. Not much in the way of an update. I uh, got some more parts in. Um, I picked these brake pads because they basically don't look like they've been recycled. Uh, I've had that in the past where I've got them in and you can see they've been blatantly painted over and you can see a little bit of rust and uh, a nice groove or a, um, a moon shape sort of uh, groove on, on the uh, plate from the um, brake caliper. But these, uh, these actually look pretty new, so I'll, I'm not going to really, you know, try and sell them. i got to see what they're like on the road. And I went and picked up the, the floating discs from uh, Zoom. These were actually pretty cheap. I think they were like 65 bucks for two. They're floating. And they do have a warning on the back. These brakes, this brake is intended for cross-country and trail riding only. Uh, not intended for lift access riding or downhill aggressive. So, I don't know. Is it a speed thing? Or is it just for like aggressive, like uh, biggest twisted or something? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. I do know when they start to really wear, they start to chatter like crazy. So I'll keep an eye on that. But I'm pretty sure they're going to make my braking a lot better. Uh, I figured I'd try this before I, I go ahead and um, start swapping out brakes. Like these still have some life in them, they just have to be uh, bled properly. This one's good. This one, not so much. Uh, that's the reason why the screw on this one went bad. Uh, the day I actually got it, I had to replace the line, obviously, because it's double the length. And when I backed the screw out, I guess it damaged the threads. Because when I went back in, it just kept turning. So this has always been an issue for me. Uh, this one's here, it's fine. I've had this one open and bled and uh, put it back in, it's fine. This one ha has always been an issue. But anyway, uh, I'll probably end up doing this upgrade once I get the hub motor and the batteries in. Uh, what I've decided on doing, since these are quite heavy, well, I mean, half of it is fine. I'm going to do half at 24 volts with a BMS. And then I'm going to do another one with a 24 volt BMS but then the thing is though there's there's going to be interaction between the two BMSs which is a problem and in the past what we were, what we did for that is we would put a rectifier in between each block so they couldn't communicate with each other or have that you know feedback from the other one and it uh, it seemed to work for a while but then it's people stopped doing it and it was never heard about again so I'm going to start doing that. Uh, I saw a rectifier on Amazon for, I believe it was like 20 bucks. It was a thousand, a thousand watt, a thousand volt, 400 amp. It's just a round one like that with two leads coming off of it. And uh, we'll probably put it in here and uh, that'll isolate them so they work independently. And uh, that'll also balance out the weight. That's what I want. Um, so that one's ready to go. Uh, as soon as I get the BMSs in, we'll uh, start wrapping them up and uh, making a bundle out of it. That'll take up half the room, and then I still have room for uh, my booster pack and a few other ones. So she's really gonna she's gonna be fast <laughs> now that I have the proper battery cases. Uh, so like I said, I don't know if I ever brought it up, but they were going in here, but except, uh, obviously, foot room was an issue. You can't put anything there. I ended up putting them here. Um, in case water does get in there, if I get stuck in the rain, I'll just put a couple of blobs of uh, silicone on that wires there to keep it from moving. But that's about it. Uh, like I said, when the motor comes in, it won't be getting this uh, treatment with the fans and the holes and everything else it's just going to get staterade put into it and we'll see how that uh, reacts with high voltages <laughs> pretty cool anyway take it easy i figured i'd share this i'll leave links in the description for this stuff if you need it uh, it's the cheapest i can find it later guys